What's up, TAX Outdoors? Cody, what's up? Blake, the TR show in the house. What's up, man? The beard is gone. Yesterday, she said, meh, gone. Western Outdoors, what's up, man? Hey, Christopher Hanna. Lance, what's up? No beard, you ain't gonna see that sucker. Hey, Dunlap, what's up? Adam, thanks for coming in, man. Crankbait Crisis. Evan, what's up? Got a giant box here. Dylan decided he wasn't going to trap anymore, so he sent me some stuff here. So I'm going to open it up. J Dubs, why aren't you a moderator? CP Grand, what's up? Activities with Cat, hello. Ashton says no beard. No beard. Hey, Jason. Lane S. Thanks for coming in, guys. It was unplanned. Hey, Ashton. Daniel, uh, just drinking with some Bud Light. And then I see one of my wife's friends left some Coors Light. So I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff, you know? Hey, Nailed It Outdoors. It'll be back, Section 8. You know how it goes. <laughs> A lot of people won't recognize me. What's up, Bo's Fusky? You ain't blue either. There you go. Crawfish crab boil was amazing it was a it was a good time making that one hey 300 win it should be coming out i think he said the 25th hey christina what's up cody did flair say he would shout me out i haven't had a chance to talk to him yet man he's busy i'm busy i'm going to try to start opening this up Figured since you talked to Bonzel in here, it was good, man. Hey, Anthony, what's up? What is wrong with all my blues? I lost a bunch of moderators for some reason. Someone take my channel over. Hey, Ridge Runner, what's up? Start what? what the hell's Moto Vlog? I don't know what you're saying, man. Hey, Raymond, Ramsey Country. I'm getting ready to open her up. Hey, Trapper Kind. Matt Sanders, what's up? Caught a 50 pounder yesterday. Oh, man. That would have been awesome. You guys, this box is uh, in the 20s, I bet. Hey, Dwayne Flowers, what's up, man? Everybody go meet each other. If you don't have each other, get each other. Hopefully nothing long and black comes rolling out of here because that would, <laughs> I guess that would make some people laugh, I guess. You just never know. I never know what's going to come out of a box. I don't know what's in here, John. I didn't hear that there's some hag brackets in here. Hey, Spicer Outdoors, thanks for coming in, man. Evie made it. Okay, here's what we got. I see a little bit of everything in here. And Dylan, when you watch this, you let me know when you're ready to start trapping again and I'll hook you back up. I'm just going to keep his stuff working. Party box. I know what comes in the box, Ramsey says. You know what's in the box? This is what I see. I got some wool. And it smells like wool. Evie, did you send Dylan some wool? Got some hags brackets. Lots and lots of wolf fang ends here. I'll have to get him some wolf fang set up. It's like a 330. Oh, look at these little suckers. I do not have any number ones. Those guys are tiny. I don't even know if I put my hand on a number one before. It doesn't look small in the camera, but it's tiny. I'll have to inventory what, what I got here because when he decides he's ready to trap again, we're going to get him hooked back up. Never go wrong with a 550. You want to try his cheese for what? For bait, Evie? These are pretty sweet, number ones. I say we go and set them up for muskrat as soon as the season opens. 
I got a chicken acting crazy. I bet that will get your knuckles. You're right, it will get my knuckle. Which one? 550 or this little dude? Man, that's pretty stiff for just a little trap. And there is a driver in here. So now the pressure is on. Oh, look, I almost forgot. We got a Bridger, number three Douglas. Dylan, if you're watching, be ready, y'all. Now the pressure's on. Now I'm going to have to set all that out so you can see catch, man. He said, I want to see you catch some stuff with it. So They do have a lot of spring for them. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Maybe, maybe I get a few more beers in me. The little traps, I'd rather just put my hand in a number five Bridger. Cute little suckers, though. Painted them black. I don't know. I guess I could show you between the number three. Look at this little guy. Just so tiny. I'm a, <laughs> oh, man. So tiny. Matt says that number one will hurt you. So I should go have the wife put her hand in it. That's what you're saying, Matt. That's a pretty good little package there. That's a lot of wolfhang hands right there. I have never, personally, I get wolf hangings every year and I never have had that many at one time. Look at that. I tried corn in the shallows. I'm missing, Evie was fishing today, I seen that. I need someone to show me what the hell I'm doing. Not like fishing for cutthroat. Hey, Fish of the Mitten, what's up, man? John Revolt, thanks for coming in. Yeah, Dylan, he's he always texted me on Instagram. And I, I anybody wants to text me on Instagram or Facebook, send me pictures of your trap, your trapping and your catches, whatever. I I like to see that stuff, so. And then he just recently texted me and says he was done. I tried to talk him out of it. Told him I he wanted to he told me he wanted to send all this stuff, and I says, Well, I'll put it to work and then you can watch it catch stuff. My friend broke his knuckle from a number one. Damn. Nice, Chris. It, had it been there a while? Chris found a 3.30 in a brook the other day. Hey, Wyatt. Um, I got a P.O. box in my About page. Go to my info. Hey, Lonnie. Thanks for coming in, man. Just had a uh, package from Dylan Deaton. He wanted me to do a unboxing. Pretty good pile of traps right there. These guys right here, I can't wait to go try them on muskrats. I've never used the number one before. I kind of like the way the paint looks too. So. Come on. There we go. What are you doing? With this one. Dylan. Iowa had better watch out. <laughs> well, someone wants, I can't remember who it is right now. And if you're in here, don't be mad, but wants me to come trapping with them in Nebraska. And it's not very far from me. I'm three miles from Iowa or three miles from Nebraska. So, and I think you can use 220s there. So I might be going to Nebraska also. Hell, no, no worries, Section 8. You can do whatever you want, man. They're pretty awesome. Yeah, Remington made that for me. You'll see him in some of my bow fishing videos coming up. If, if you're a member, you saw I posted one of them today on the member page. He's the one that's always catching a ton of uh, beaver. He started using he started using Big Pile there at the end of the season, and, started, and he caught... It's a, a lot of beaver. I don't know how many, but he was catching two or three a day, and he's only old Remington. Seventeen, I think. That was my second day, Section Eight, of having a bow fishing rig on. Uh, I had one of the ones that you spool by hand. You have to wrap it around the the big spool, and that that sucked. So. Spending the extra money for one you could reel in was a whole lot better. Hunting and stuff with JJ, what's up, man? 
What did Jay Dubs do? I'm chilling in the AC at work now. <laughs> hey, it's about getting hot this weekend. Hey, Dunlap, if you're in here, what's the weather like in Kentucky right now, man? If you guys don't follow Dunlap, he was fishing with uh, Clint Locklear yesterday. And I seen a two videos of him reeling in something, but I've never seen what he caught. Hey, I hear people do crossbow bowfish. Yeah, J Dubs, I didn't tell anybody I was going live, I just kind of did it. You're fishing right now, John Chen? Well, oh, I just pushed the button too far. John, Charney, you're fishing right now? What you fishing for, man? Yeah, we got a bunch of rain here fishing the men. We're supposed to go to like heat index of 105 or something like that. Yeah, Ashton, I got a few videos coming out. Uh, I think we killed over 50 Asian carp, big ones. And in one hole, we got 20 something gar just out of one hole. So I got two videos coming. Um, I'm like two weeks in ahead now on my videos. So it's going to be a little bit before that one comes out. Hey, actually, the only reason I really like them basically is I like them when they jump in my boat and uh, shooting them with a bow. Other than that, they're completely worthless. Oh, it looks fusky. It was pretty awesome. I got the hang of it real quick. I uh, retired the old Matthews bow from deer hunting, and she is now a fishing rig. Probably ain't gonna happen at this rate, Oak, Oak Fusky. Yeah, a little bit cooler, Greg. Definitely. Thanks, NT. I, uh, you'll see it in the last video. It was like out to here. Hey, later, Lonnie Paul. Thanks for coming in, man. I just wanted to do an unboxing for Dylan. I was just gonna make a video, but I figured I might as well go live. <laughs> Jeff, the funny thing is, is I still got it set at 80 pounds. <laughs> that thing launched the string crazy. They don't take long to get to the end of 25 yards. <laughs> Probably need to turn her down a little bit. Um, when we snag them, J-dubs, they do. But I don't know if, I've never heard of anybody catching them on rod and reel normally. Usually you snag them. You went live, Section 8? Did you have a good turnout, man? The rice trapping, what's up? Uh, I got the AMS reel, Tyler. Uh, Spicer, uh, if you guys have seen, the last thing I caught was that really disgusting coyote. I posted it on uh, Facebook and Instagram, but I got a video will be coming out about that guy. It's, uh, that's one of them ones that uh, you feel bad and you want to throw up at the same time. Pretty gross. I just seen your comment, Tracy. I have not turned the poundage down on my bow. Uh, the last video I've seen, Evie, was you were showing your your greenhouse. That's pretty good then, section eight. The real the real was uh, what did I get? I'm trying to think of which one I got. I thought I got the kit, but I didn't. I got just the real for 109 bucks at Bass Pro. And then I bought two arrows that were $14 a piece.
Greg, I haven't ordered any wax yet. That's a pretty good idea, actually. I need to get that done. I waited too long last year. I need to write that down, actually. A mental note here. I'm terrible at getting ready for trapping in the off season. It's just like October comes, we'll have like a cold morning and then boom, suddenly I'm ready to go and I start buying all this stuff and getting stuff ready. Yeah, I will Ashton. I get the, uh, I get the flake wax from F and T section eight. And for wax and traps, I use I like to use the black wax. It, it's dye and wax together. I don't melt just a whole bunch of wax. I use I do water. You drop your trap down through it, get it hot, and then you bring it up through the wax. I've been catching coons like crazy in in a couple DP set by my gen cube. You been videoing any of this, Anthony? Christina, for all your hard work. Appreciate it, Christina. Thanks for the super chat. Christina's awesome. Anybody seen Cody Moore, though? Where's Cody at? Appreciate it, Christina. Hey, uh, everyone that lives in Michigan, I'm, I'm, I'm not into politics or anything, but you guys need to get that, rid of that governor completely. I can't, I can't even stand to see her picture of her. <laughs> and I'm a long ways from Michigan. Oh my God, you guys have been locked up since March. I can't believe it. That's crazy. Hey, Michael, I appreciate that, man. Uh, usually when I, when I do it, I don't know. There's any, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Flair does his set open i don't do that it's my luck it would snap off and throw hot wax all over me and he melts his in a uh well i'm having technical difficulties here but i'll show you how i do i'll show you how i i do mine which i need to get another tricky fryer because i left mine full of my water and it froze and cracked it which i don't worry about offset ones too much i just do it like that I just stick that swivel right there in the jaws. Let me get a closed jaw one. He got everything already set up on these. Check that out. He's ready. He's raring to go. These little guys, they're going to bite the hell out of me. I just know it. For just a closed jaw, it'll just be like that. And then I'll just, I just dip the whole thing, chain it all in there. This is not a Duke, this is a Bridger. But these little guys are Dukes, number ones. Hey Christina, how do you like your stuff you got from uh, NBA? Looks pretty awesome. I will, best friend outdoors. I definitely will. I gotta get. I'll get all the stuff ordered. I'm gonna start doing. Last year, I just started doing more prep videos. To me, it's just something I do, like dyeing and all that. But I'll try. I'll. I'll make sure I video a lot of the simple stuff that I call simple. Is what a lot of people need to see. That's why I like to make the videos of just making the Wolfang anchors, because you can get this bag right here and some cable way cheaper than if you bought them by the uh I don't know why my lights flickering for the better than buying them by the dozen what's up paparomas there's mo oh no oh i did not shave the beard <laughs> oh, no. yeah she got them for a while anyway ashton you like the hat Had to add weight, Jeff. Yeah. 
I got a, uh, I don't have them in here, but I got a whole bunch of different uh, hag stuff from, from Jeff Haggerty. So there'll be a whole bunch of different things being used this year. And then Dylan sent some more hags brackets. Oh, weights to the number ones, I bet. Yeah, some of the muskrats I get are, are three, almost four pounds, so. They just be sitting there swimming. Hi, right, Megan, thanks for being in here. I'll do that, Jabber Jim, when I get all my starter traps and pray that I can get a class that doesn't cancel. You have to have a class, Section 8? What's up, cooking in a mo? <laughs> Bob Romas, I, I think I prefer beaver back straps. The muskrats had too many bones. It was kind of weird. Oh, yeah, I bet they just climbed back up on there, Jeff. I hear you. Like I said, that's the smallest trap I've ever used. So, it's, uh, it's a little guy. Fish and Dreams got a new video coming out tomorrow, guys. For the first time in two weeks, guys, go check it out. How many traps is your trap line at the biggest time of the year? Oh, man, I don't even know. I really don't. I got all my canines. Well, most of them are up there, but I think there's six or seven dozen canine traps, so she'll be big this year. I keep adding, so. And then Dylan just added to the arsenal. I don't really count the muskrat traps and stuff like that. I separate them up. I got my rat cane line, basically, and then I got my my bobcat line, and then I got my coyote line. Because most times I don't catch a bobcat in my coyote sets. Most of the time. Which, last year, last year I do not think out of the eight bobcats, I think they're all in sets that I made just for bobcats. I did catch a few coyotes in bobcat sets, though. A couple surprises. I got some really good bobcats around here now. They used to be like really sandy color, like real light brown, and they were hardly spotted, and now they're getting more spots on the outside. Donnie, I don't really pay much attention to it yet. The only time I know for sure what the fur prices are doing is when I take in that first little bit of fur, that little teaser fur, and that will be the first first route that North Iowa takes in uh, November. Because I, I always hold back fur, so I got stuff that I will... <laughs> I'm laughing at your comment because you said me too, LOL. I'll take in some stuff, and, and if it's good, I'll come back and, and get more and go back. So I've been going to the same fur buyers, and I'm one of them guys that, if I'm driving all the way there, that fur is probably going to stay there. But I, ha I do bring stuff back occasionally. Uh, Tracy, a lot of them, I have more luck in, in the, uh, the bobcats I get mostly in the timber. Like in the cedar thickets and stuff. So I don't know. Hey, Joy Stewart. Later, Oaks Fusky. No. I just look like a freaking hobo with a beard, man. So you can see where it was. He's white under there. I gotta get her tanned up. Yeah, do it. Tyreek's channel. Everybody get with each other. We're a big community. Bigger the better. Uh, I, I, once I hit 40, my beard's been growing fast. I just shaved it not very long ago, it seemed like. And it was uh, bushy. Yes, I do. I skin all my raccoons and I board all of my muskrats. And I'm going to board all my bobcats for sure. And I'm going to try to do some coyotes, but it's a lot of uh, work just working and trapping. 
So I still want to enjoy it. And then <laughs> I guess that if I'm calling all that a lot of work, you should see me after I'm done doing that and I go and sit in the recliner and try to make my daily videos. So yeah, I need someone, I need someone I can just hand my memory card to and they make my video for me. <laughs> kind of, then I would still probably be sitting there watching it because I know what's on the 18, 10 minute clips, you know what I mean? I know what parts to go to. If you make YouTube videos, you know what I'm talking about. When I did, st I did st uh, this Asian carp video, there was like 70 clips and a lot of them were 10 minutes. And there might've been 10 minutes before I shot one fish. So man, when I put it to 17 minutes, there's a lot of action in it. I, just, I try to make it somewhat entertaining, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mullet Boy did, almost didn't make it, if anybody's seen that video on uh, Instagram. <laughs> a little backstory before you guys see that. Uh, Mullet Boy, which is my cameraman slash nephew, was talking about, him and Remington were talking about shooting an arrow straight up in the sky. So later on, I said, are you ready? And he just said, yeah. And I let it go. I'll tell you what, an 80 pound bow, bow did not take long to throw 25 yards out and it shot back down. Oh, I got all kinds of things, Ashton. Any, that, any the two times I've gotten double on Bobcats were really big highlights. Two Bobcats at one time is pretty awesome. Otherwise, it's usually like once a week if, if I'm gonna get a Bobcat, it's every week. I'll get one. And last year I had a bunch of cool looking coyotes. <laughs> Section eight, yeah. I heard they weren't very good, best friend outdoors. Uh, the year before I sold all nine of them for a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a piece. That's good for my area and that's whole. But uh I was hearing seventy five dollars a piece, which probably still wasn't bad, but I held on to them. Yeah, I got both of those, Ashton. I'm actually the one that set the trap that got Flair's otter. If you go back and watch that video. Last year, I think I caught six which last year is the first time I'd actually targeted mink under this one bridge because I seen their tracks. But usually I just catch them when I'm muskrat trapping. I don't have a whole lot of them. So Mark, I did shave a little bit. I left some. What's up Reaper? What are you doing, man? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, we have mink here, Mo. I did get a double once on mink and that was pretty awesome. Right side by side. A mink is looks like a ferret. Looks a lot like a ferret. Reaper, what are you up to, man? Oh no, there's NBA coming in. What's up, NBA? <laughs> Reaper. Uh I always recommend trying to skin if you can, Anthony, but when you're just getting into it, it's a whole lot to take in. But I feel like you do a lot better, on, definitely on raccoons, you, you do a lot better if you skin them. Got a lot of them PA. Man, I, w I kinda wish we did have a lot of them here. Um, b and I don't know if any, a lot of you probably don't know b and but he was uh, coming in here a lot, but he he's pretty good at mink trapping. He sets little tiny snares though, and I don't have the patience for that. Sometimes I don't think my 330's big enough for a hole. <laughs> I look young, Texan. I'm about to drive eight hours to Kentucky. Hey, where you live at, NBA? You don't have to give it away, but 
There's a trapping deal in Kentucky. Is that how you say Kentucky? You're in Harlan? I'm gonna have to find out how close you are to where I'll be. Because I don't... Is Lanchy still in here? I'm in some weird name. Like Wilbo, Wilbooks or some shit like that. Hey, Joy. One of these nights you want to come up on panel? With your tequila or whatever that is you drink? I need Joy up on panel. I am I need to do one of them lives where it's uh hard to make it in the house she says yeah okay in a few weeks i'm going to kentucky and then i'm on call and then after that we will set it up and i bet it won't take long before someone in the in the audience says something about bald beavers or blonde beavers or something probably reaper Uh, for sure, Iowa and Missouri, James, but I, I'm looking at uh, going over to Nebraska also. It's not very far. The guy that wants me to, he wants me to run a two-week line. Hey, what's the, that town we're going to, Lance? I got it on my phone. It's a weird name. I like shaved beaver, yeah. See, just all kinds of comments like that will come. Hey, you know, my uh, none of my uh, live streams get monetized anymore. I know you guys probably seen an ad, but it'll be yellow after this, and then I won't get any ads anymore. And I mean, I haven't even been dirty lately. Scandinavia. Oh, just kidding. Did he say it? Smoke Dream got a charter bo boat. What you fishing for, man? Hmm. Come run a line in Kansas. That might be a little bit. We haven't been dirty in here lately, I don't think. Not since I wore the possum thong. And that one was good. That one didn't even... Hey, Joy, I'm going to wear that possum thong when you're on panel. It's set. Some of you guys may not want to come. Since when, Section A? I've been doing this a long time. Well, maybe not that long. Two years now I've been live. New rules. Wolf. What if I want to advertise for Bud Light? Hey, Bud Light. This one's for you. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, it was awesome, Ashton. Oh. <laughs> Joy. Yeah, country's going to shit. They would want the money for that. I actually, when I was working at this for this one farmer, there's a place called Dole's Distributing here close to Omaha, Nebraska. And they own the Budweiser plant there. And I actually went duck hunting with them before I had this YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of mowing and stuff for them. It's pretty cool. Yep, I have a feeling the strictness is going to get silly on the lines. Well, that's where they get most of their money at, though, is on the live streams. Because anyone that has members or, or any uh, super chats or anything, they're getting money for it. Hey, Texan by birth, I appreciate that. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes again. Mo told me to get a candle, but I did not get a candle. I'm gonna do some duck hunting this year, Ashton. Every time I'm muskrat trapping, the ducks are all in my same in the same area, so I might as well kill some. Chickens are beating each other up, sounds like. You got fungians, Lance? I will drive to Kentucky for some fungians. Did you say where we we're going, Lance? I need to find out if it's close to NBA. Yeah, the last live I did the other night, I don't even remember what really happened in it, but I don't remember doing anything dirty and it was yellow. Bang, bang, duckies. 
Yeah. We got a lot of rain, Jay. It, we had to uh, run trash pumps on our lift station. Our lift station was underwater. Oh no, Greg. I know that, m and that's, so, that's normal. That's what I'm hearing, Papa Romas. Smoking a fatty. <laughs> and going live in a strip club. It's, I don't even know if your strip clubs can operate with the coronavirus. And there ain't no money anymore. You're gonna have to throw canned goods or something at them. What do you give them, IOUs? You're gonna start right now with dollar checks? That sounds awesome, maybe. Eh? The, the worst thing they're doing to most of us, I don't know, seems like, is they're not giving out notifications till the next day. I get a whole bunch of notifications for stuff that's happened yesterday. Why even show it on my thing if it's that late? There's Bouncer Slab. What's up, man? I'll definitely check it out, man. What are you up to? Yeah, you need some kind of candles. Yeah, I'm just killing them right now. I'm my own, I'm a magnet. Hey, Jay's catfishing. Yeah, that used to work really good, Joy, when we used to share people out. But now that doesn't even hardly work, I don't think. Yeah, there was some fireworks going on. Probably strippers need face masks. There you go, bouncer. New shed's awesome. If I ever get it finished, it'll be great. Kind of. It's 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 good. <laughs> I moved in really quick. And then I started using it to build cabinets and stuff. Now I think they usually just keep the lights down, a little Reaper. Really, Section 8? That's crazy. No. Just right out that door. As soon as I moved my daughter's car. It broke down. I inherited it. And she got a new one. <laughs> there will be plenty of that, Jesse. We we're talking at work today. I, I still haven't sealed the floor. I guess I'll just let it get one year's worth of blood stains and then seal it. Uh, this car is just a Saturn, Ashton. She got a fancy car. I don't know the name of it. I'm drunk enough. I don't see right anyway. Hell, I don't tell the old lady. I know she'll slap the shit out of you. <laughs> Mark. What's an angel stream? What's an angel stream? I'm lost. Can you do a favor for somebody, Bouncer? It was uh, only like so many moons ago, Bouncer, when everyone was telling me you were the biggest troll on YouTube. And I just kept going to your channel and watching your content. I didn't really care if you was a troll or not. There's so many people that told me to go this direction and that direction and that direction and this direction. But I don't see them anymore. They gone. Mostly people drinking beer in the lie. Oh. Yeah, we ain't gonna kick nobody out, bouncer. I gotta go look for it though. Huh. 
<laughs> That's awesome. That's perfect. <laughs> Smoke Dream says, nope, I'm a smoker, don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right, I read it. You ever use... I have, kind of. I We call that, what the hell is that? What? What you can say in the tree. So? In, in what tree? Here. Oh, there always a chicken in that tree. Hmm. Apparently there's a chicken in the tree. My wife came in here with a four foot level. I don't know what she's gonna do with that. Gonna knock it out of the tree, I guess. Yeah. I got you. Give strippers gift cards. <laughs> yeah. That'd be awesome. We have one with five cents on it. This one's got ten cents. I've honestly never been to a strip club and I probably never will. My theory is, why would I go somewhere and get teased? But apparently, you don't have to get teased when you go to the strip club. My mother was my favorite pole dancer, except on allowance day. Oh, no. It's crazy. See, that's why I go to Bounce for Slab's channel and watch this stuff. Chicken hunting with a four-foot level. What's up, Illegal? Thanks for coming in. I actually used to have big, huge 4th of July parties here, and uh, one of my friends was dating a stripper, and he brought her here, and she was like seven foot tall, and she was uh, pretty, <laughs> she was pretty ugly. Oh my God. Pretty easy to get them to take their clothes off, though. You just say, hey, I bet you won't take clothes off. Boink. Never mind. Put them back on. Shit. <laughs> That's a, yeah, that's a huge bitch. Backwood strippers. I hear you, Bouncer. <laughs> What's up, Legal? I gotta grab me another beer. Don't go nowhere. I'm just going right over here. Man, I need to put the new fridge closer to the light. Oh man, I had to walk seven feet. Oh man, if I was in my smaller shed, I wouldn't have to go anywhere. But I got these guys. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Doing good, Illegal Man. Illegal's putting on a fishing contest. If you're in Oklahoma and you want to go fishing, get a hold of Illegal. Whenever you get your YouTube channel gets big, Illegal. You won't want your phone number out there like you got it out there on Facebook. <laughs> I got a really persistent person wanting me to... Uh... How ugly was she? When they say someone's got a horse face, they, they she got a horse face. My wife comes in here, I'll ask her, and she'll say the same thing. We got trolls, Mo? They don't come in here no more. I hardly even get, I hardly even get a uh, uh, thumbs down anymore. Do I got one yet? Hey, I did a, I was going to do a premiere, and it had like seven thumbs down and no thumbs up. And I... Got on my computer and got rid of that premiere. I was like, this ain't gonna go well. It was like five minutes in, it had seven thumbs down. I'm like, shit, it's gonna be, it's not even gonna pop up until next Wednesday. That's gonna get ugly. I got rid of that premiere. <laughs> Mo says, did you want one? Well, I was just wondering if my favorite thumbs downer was in here. AK Benny Bass, thanks for being in here. Yeah, you forgot to hit the thumbs down. Yeah. Tubby's in here. If I could ever go back in time and, and get there before him, that's what my channel would be called. Tubby Guy Outdoors. That's my favorite. That's my favorite YouTube channel name right there. What's up, man? There was one more. 
God dang it. I'll think of it here in a minute. Yeah, most of them are, James. They get even worse now that you can't get anything on Amazon. Just check out F&T or Southern Snare. Those are my two go-tos. I used to I used to do a lot at Dakota Line, but apparently they're not going to do online sales anymore. That's funny, but how tubby is tubby? I'm 300 pounds, he said, Illegal says. Great Wolf Production, what's up, man? Thanks for coming in. I'm down to 260 illegal. I guess all these trying to make videos in the summertime is uh, I'm losing some poundage. I'm only 560 says. <laughs> That makes a difference. You got out today, got some wipers. You didn't tell me those things are psycho. Yeah, they can be. I got someone that wants to take me to get like giant ones in Kansas. So I'm kind of excited about that. <laughs> well, anyways, surprise, I'm going live. Really shorty boy in the line. You short, James? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Bouncer says I like being 230, but it's rough terrain, and I'm not an uh, I'm not an ATV. <laughs> Joy. That's awesome. Joy, you, you ever hear that saying? I bet you were like a wild hottie back when you were like 15 to 18 in high school. I never heard that from anybody. No one said that about me. I've just been ugly my whole life. <laughs> I have a question. Anyone know how to catch many... It's hard. Where's that freaking thing at? I got a trap in here somewhere. They're freaking scary, too. You want to talk about getting 30 years ago? Hey, I bet. Everybody know just traps out of their truck. Yeah. I, I think the four-wheeler really made me uh, venture in more. I, was, I do a lot of trapping out of my truck. Let me see if I can find that trap. Here it is. Man, they're so freaky. They're dangerous. Trapping with Jinx, which I haven't seen him yet, gave me a few of these guys. Look at this. It's set. It's rearing to go. You get your finger in this, it's like a scissor. See? Jagged edges. We caught a few at the golf course, and uh, yeah. This is the trigger. Chink! And that closes like a scissor with a jagged edge on it. It's, I'm serious, it's, see if I can get it undone. There you go. I would, James. Look at that. This is a mole trap. And I'm telling you, that's, I got some really good grip, but that's a strong trap. And he says, what? Yeah, it's got this little setter. He got them out of his truck, and I'm like, yep, I'm going to lose the limb with that sucker. Basically, you get these, and I talked to Duke. I told him he needed to make some because I guess they're getting harder to find. But uh, you find their push-ups, you dig it out, you put this down in there, and then you cover it back over with dirt, and they, they dig up, and you get them. Uh, it's got a really strong spring, so the ground don't have to be that soft. Yeah, they're they're dead, Great Wolf. I haven't got them cutting in half yet, but they're pretty hurt. <laughs> I find traps in the woods, but just leave them a Twinkie. 
Nice. I've seen you mushroom hunting before. Yeah, I've seen you cooking them. I'm not putting my hand in that one. And I would not challenge anybody to do that one either. That one's that would be worse than a 220 or a 330. Apparently, the antis are all for mole killing, so they don't uh, they don't care that that thing's like got jagged teeth on it and stuff. Look at that. So if you're in here, anti. It's just a mole. You need your you need your yard to look good. You need your trash not to be torn over by raccoons, you know. Get out of here. What Jeff Barr say? Trap a stripper? <laughs> oh man. Anybody know where I can get some stripper gl glitter? I need some stripper glitter. I would use white claws, but I'll probably catch Austin Bonzel. So we can't do that. Scared of what? I'm not scared of the Duke 650, but it sucks. Lance, you just now saying Wingo? Or did I just hit my chat just go back? Am I behind? Fucking mosquitoes. I'm surrounded by mosquitoes. I don't know if you guys can see them flying or not. They're gonna get me. That's easy, all you need is money. I'm, I'm about to kill some mosquitoes here if they just land. Have you tried flooding them out, Pomeromas? Later, Michael. Thanks for being in here, man. Hey, Robert Anderson. Thanks for coming in. Was everybody just as bored as I was? I'm like, you know what? I'm going live. Yeah, I forgot where uh, NBA said he lived now. Anybody remember? Was it like Harland or something like that? Hey, Janet, thanks for coming in. I <laughs> have 50 pound boxes of glitter. Oh, it goes on ice cream? Hmm. That sounds different. What could we do with 50 pounds of uh, glitter that goes, or sprinkles, basically? Oh, man. I wonder if we could catch raccoons with that. Hey, Drake. I will try to post a live angry female Bigfoot protecting her young one, chasing me for child support again, but YouTube keeps taking it down. That's awesome. How you doing, Drake? Hey, Drake, you got any number ones? Check this out. Dylan sent me this, little guys. And I'm pretty sure it will really sting a little bit. I've used the pill, the little worm that you can get at like a farm store, Paparoma. I don't know if it worked or not though. I got moles all over here. They knocked my corn over and everything. What's happening, McLeod? You're gonna kick you about to kick some ass out there or something? Trey says the number one does sting a lot. Northwood's number ones. I got some uh, long springs, but I don't really count those. They're real uh, weak. Have you ever heard of the Walmart brand of ice cream called Unicorn? I have not. What's up, Evan? Thanks for coming back in. I don't know, M&A. We got quite a bit. We got a few inches for sure. Oh, 
Oh no, Papa. I've uh, I've shot, I've seen the dirt moving, and I've shot them with shotgun before. Sparkly turd ice cream, bouncer says. SDMF Vampira, what's up? Are you new here? Thanks for coming in. Okay, I'm gonna get a bug zapper for sure. I'm gonna get on Amazon and order me a bug zapper. So I'll just hang it right here. I'm way behind. How? What time is it? It says I'm caught up. Am I really way behind? How did I get behind? Oops. It says 9.21. What time is it? Did someone tell me? I think you're behind, Lance. Fast forward your screen. You probably hit the backspace. I do that all the time. And then next thing I know, the, the, uh, the person's wrong. 721? <laughs> oh no. I'm way ahead. Okay, I, it says I'm caught up. I think Lance might have hit rewind. So in about 30 minutes, I gotta remind Lance that he's behind. Mm -hmm. He says, here we go. Am I caught up, Lance? Appreciate that, Mr. Fulton. I got that, but I didn't get that bouncer. Are we talking about the Corona? Was you, was you, uh, hey Lance, was you in reverse a little bit? <laughs> I do it all the time. I'll be on the live stream and I'll be like talking and then it'll take me a while and I'll realize I was like 30 or 40 minutes behind. I accidentally hit the button. It is definitely mosquito season. I took a big bite of the like button. I appreciate that. <laughs> Smelling some shine putting me backwards. Nice. Okay. When is that? Let's see. Next Monday. I will be back in town. I should be able to make that. The electronic... Disturbance causes the ion in our blood to prevent the hemoglobin from transferring oxygen throughout the body. Main symptoms? Yes. I heard basically my sister-in-law got corona and she just felt down. Running down, basically. She's also about 7'9 and way bigger than me, so... She stands like this tall. No, I'm just going to Kentucky. No. I'm going to get off at like noon on Friday and shoot to, shoot to Kentucky. Meet up with Jeff Dunlap. Apparently the meat trapper. I don't know if anybody's met the meat trapper, but that's kind of exciting. I'll meet him and uh, a few other guys. And I'll probably go live from there. Yeah, she's huge. And her son, which is my nephew, he's gonna be playing for Iowa this, this fall. Come on, freaking mosquitoes. Can you guys see the mosquitoes flying around me? I need one of them bug assault guns. Rodrigo Damas, what's up? Kentucky ain't like South Alabama. Was I saying it wrong?
What you doing? My wife's still trying to knock a chicken out of the tree with a level. She will get him. I know. Stupid mosquitoes. Yeah, I know. They probably won't even play nothing now that he's going to be there. Uh, sleeping in a tree right above the coop. She's trying to knock it out of the tree, I think. Rodrigo, I appreciate you coming in, man. Any, sometime around the 25th, you'll see me on one of his videos. White Claws is a flare magnet. I did drink some White Claws. He might be in that video. <laughs> it was that or Sewer River Water. <laughs> Come on. Slew water. There was no slew water. I would probably go for that. But if anybody knows the Missouri River, it's, uh, they pump a lot of stuff out in Omaha. Little Saltine, it does sound familiar. I'm in Illinois, Section 8. I'll be cruising through Illinois here, probably. Friday night, maybe I can get through there, I think. You wanna trap me, James Reedy? Or you wanna trap with me? You gonna trap the king? Fire up the Harley and smoke the Skeeters out. <laughs> yeah. I need a battery for the son of a bitch. Batteries went to shit on my boat. My four-wheeler and the motorcycle. It's awesome. I just love buying batteries for stuff. If anybody knows my pain. Otherwise, yeah, I would. I would just fire it up and show them who's boss. Yeah, Bonham's not doing good at all. That's how I feel. Tell me, guy, my boat takes two batteries. Everything outdoors, Michigan, what's up? I'm trying to keep the mosquitoes off my legs. I can't handle... I can't handle Jay drinking White Claw. <laughs> they don't watch that flare video. There is a picture on Instagram, though. Who on Instagram? Me? I am on Instagram, and if and I believe you send me links when people are live. I get a lot of people sending me links. Besides the trap, Janet. Which one? This one? Uh, I use uh, 22 to dispatch most of my catches, Seth. I have clubbed them before, and uh, sometimes they come back alive. Come on, you son of a bitch. I got that one. This is the number one dupe. Just a little feller compared to this number three Bridger right here. Tracer just whacked a opossum. He did. Hey, Amanda. How you doing? Tubby guy, you got outfished? I can't do it, Rodrigo. I don't do it. Nope. I'll say boots. I can say boots every time I get out of my truck. 
<laughs> uh, you can't get one. You can get a, oh, yeah. Just kidding. I'm going to do that at Walmart. That's, that comes from my TikTok. <laughs> Been a busy one. What are you doing, J-Dub, besides sitting in the air conditioning? If you want a good trap, get it, little saltine. Because that's what I run. You can go back and look at... I caught quite a few coyotes when I started using them pretty late in the season, so... Just watch this season, you'll see. I'm feeding the mosquitoes. What's up, G Trapper? Those will work too, everything, Michigan. I got those on my drowners now for beaver. Used to use them for bobcat and coyote. Now I got 650s on both sides of the banner up there. I got 650s and 550s and then I got some canine extremes and uh, Bridger number three fully modified. And now I got this Bridger three dogless. Usually I get them, if I get a Bridger number three, I get it fully modified. And um, I'm going to a big trapping deal this weekend, so. I will, Jesse. I won't, none of them will be used for beaver, I don't think, unless it gets to where I need some. I got plenty of traps for beaver. I already forgot, Mo. <laughs> I'm horrible. And I forgot what I was about to say five seconds ago. The crackhead trap is right there. It looks really small, but it's not. Oh, I got so many weeds here, Janet. I'm right on the edge of a prairie that it's conservation, and they cut all the trees out and make it a... And then there's a swamp across the road where you see me muskrat trap. It's uh, tough. Bouncer's found two coyotes all busted up. That's crazy. Yeah, Wingo. There it is. Wingo, and I can't remember where NBA is at, so I didn't get any closer to seeing how close I was. I don't think we're going to be near the mountains where he's at, so. And I've never sprayed my yard, Janet, for anything. Just grass sometimes and weeds. Uh, I think I think the 550 would be just as good, J-Dubs. I don't know how much hype they got. But uh, I guarantee you they're a pretty good size. They're like an over, a really oversized 550. <laughs> I am screwed, Janet, for sure. Been that way since I was born. Must be bouncing. Cruiser Max in here. There he is. I missed him. What's up, Cruiser Mac? Later, Rodrigo. Thanks for coming in, man. I'd pull a 650 down, but I don't see my ladder. But they're basically a 550 just giant. And when I put my hands on these at a convention, I wasn't that impressed with them. But when when I got a dozen to try out, 
they're pretty awesome. And that night lash just is killer compared to every other trap I've ever owned. I don't know how this one's set up because it's came from somewhere. I go up by Grattensburg a few times a year fishing. How far are you from there? You talking to me? We're going to be by some lake. I seen Dunlap fishing there. Oh. Hear that? I got a thumbs down. I missed. Ben, Benny Bass, what's up? You're, I know you're blocked, but you can still thumbs down me and all that shit. But uh, basically, your 650 is going to come clear out to here. It's just going to be giant. No, I don't want to. It hurts. It hurts my knuckles because it lands right on my knuckles. I, I didn't ask him. I just seen I seen Dunlap post a couple videos of uh, Clint reeling in a fish, but I never did see what he caught. Said they were catfishing. Uh, you can go to my Instagram. Evan, also on my... Uh, TikTok and my wife put her hand in a trap in a 550 the other night. Um, I usually don't catch any like, like super weird animals because Usually I just catch everything that we have in this area. You know, I catch at least one of them. But a few years ago, I was trapping on ice on the swamp, and I had like three snapping turtles and one tens in one day. And before that, they were eating my muskrats out of the traps. In the middle of winter, freezing cold, and I was catching snapping turtles and one tens. And you catch them by the head, and they're still alive. Thinker's Nightmare. Appreciate it, man. Do the traps hurt or is it more of a surprise pain? Is it a surprise? If, if you stick your hand in a trap, I don't know if you're surprised. For them, it just holds them there. Pretty much. Jeff got an albino coon. I've been trying, trying real hard. Every time I check a trap, I'm like, this is going to be that chance I got that cinnamon coon. Or a jet black coon or a white coon. Oh, somebody pulled their like away and they're going to make it a thumbs down. I can see it. They just went to 99. I know the game. <laughs> I better hurry up and get these down. I don't have... I guess I do have a long spring. Yeah, they are, Greg. That's the bear trap. It's a big sucker. Oh, now it says 105. Man, you got a cinnamon? Man, I catch over 100 coon, and I never get anything interesting. Just the uh, great big old boar coons with no tails, about as interesting as it gets for me. I don't have any shots. I drank it all in the last live. I'm alcohol free besides these beers that someone left here. You know, after that live stream, I stayed awake and I was supposed to go with Tram with Jinx. And uh, I think I didn't go to bed until like eight o'clock in the morning. It was rough. Don't do it. It's a real sad mini fridge. It's just got Hellfire in there and it had these three beers in there. Uh, I'm I'm old as dirt, and I cannot stay up until 8 o'clock in the morning anymore like I used to. I survived. All the bow fishing videos that you will see coming up were on that day. It was horrible. <laughs> Shafted by PayPal. Now I just, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Bouncer Slab brought some of his from some of his uh, 
other channels in here. Bouncer, is that you? If not, that's a very creative name. There we go. Slabs sent you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Yeah, after four o'clock, Mark. If you can. I'll be at work till four. <laughs> I hear you, Shafton. I can read your emojis. Old bouncer slab scared a lot of live streamers back in the day. Countless of them. And I don't think any of them come to this live stream anymore. If you're not, yeah. After four, right, Mark? Did my chat freeze up? Someone say hello. It's not moving no more. There we go. Seeing a few of those, Mo. I saw a kid use a regular BB gun and then it just hit the uh, automatic and just lit up the water. Activity is higher than COVID. Mad Toy Man, what's up? <laughs> oh man. I think, I think uh, Bouncer's Lab alone can get me to 150 people or a thumbs up. I got a fully auto paintball gun and it keeps shooting after I, after I pull the trigger. It keeps on going. Is it Jocelyn? Am I saying it right? Hey Jocelyn. Thanks for watching. I have not yet, m &A. So much for that pathetic thumbs down. What's up, Master Bader Fisher? Biter? Master Biter Fisher? Fishing? Did my thumbs down leave? Or do I got extras? <laughs> yeah, Bader. <laughs> oh, it's still there? Bastard. Little Max Hunt Fish and Trap, what's up? That's all right. Master Bader. That's what I would have went with. For sure. 100%. <laughs> uh, I'd make it sure, but I'm pretty sure someone's already got that one. No problem, Smoke Dream. Yeah, especially since I know who uh, who uh, put it out there. At least mosquitoes are kind of leaving me alone. I think they got drunk and fell off. Shot a raccoon between the eyes and went to get a knife, came back. Yeah, sometimes you gotta have the right angle. Sometimes they're just really tough, too. I trapped a badger last year, little Max. Tough some bitches. They're mean. <laughs> Trey me. No, I'll just try to get a rise out of you, man. Did it work? Yeah. 
You're gone. <laughs> oh my god. Bowser, how do you change how do you change so fast? I it takes me like five minutes to just go through YouTube. <laughs> oh shit. Uh Coffin Keeper says going broke because I invested in boxes nobody needs. Just put them in bags now. You should have just been making bags. He says I'm pretty fast. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I know, he does, Ma, and I, I think it's awesome. Scared a lot of people, though. And I know quite a few people that deserve to get trolled like crazy also. <laughs> Bastards. Mm -hmm. There was a time when anyone that had more than one account was considered a troll. But we've been around for a little bit. It's only <laughs> a year on YouTube is like 10 years in real life, it seems like. And then when, uh, I think the only person I got blocked at the moment, besides trolls, is uh, J-Dub's alter ego. <laughs> well, someone's blocked, but I can't figure out who it is. Yeah, you can't kill the uh, the uh, state animal. Oh man, if you really want my honest opinion, Trey, or do you want a uh, somewhat subtle fix for it? How many you got? I can be honest or I can give you, I can just tell you to go down this path. <laughs> New wave ideas, what are you laughing about? At the moment you have six, I would not buy any more Duke number threes. In my honest opinion, I would not use a Duke number three. Get a number four or get a number two. Don't get a number threes. I'm pretty sure I, uh, they're probably the slowest trap out there. And yes, I'm, Duke sends me stuff and all that, but that, if there was one trap out there I would never use again, that's the number three. And being you already have them, I would try to figure out a way to four coil them because the only problem I have with them is they're slow. Try to four coil them. You'll have to Google it. That's the only problem they got, they're slow. Later, m &A. Evan says he got number three. If it was if it was four cold, it would be different. NBA, I see you lurking still. I appreciate you coming in, man. Man, my uh, LED lights are freaking having a rave or something. Yeah, I like both of those. I even use the one and three quarters a lot. Lip Rippers Outdoor VE. What's up? <laughs> Later, Tracy. Thanks for coming in. If it's just Fox, I would go with something small, like a number two or, or one and three quarters. I like a big trap, but I also like the smaller traps, too. I'm going to use a, I'm going to use the, uh, the 550s for anything really. And Remington, you'll see him in my videos a lot more. 
he catches beavers with his 550s. He uses, my motto was always use what you got. A lot of us can't go out there and just buy special traps for something else. You do, I mean, if you, all you got is a 550, set it for the front foot and see if you can get them. If you can't afford like a bridger number five, then just use your 550 or your number two, whatever. Just try it for the front foot. Pebble Creek Outdoors is in the house. A lot of talk about trapping tonight. That's awesome. Teach a child to fish. Thanks for coming in. Sorry if I giggle because I know Bouncer is lurking. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, they'll still work, Mark. I'm, I was just saying, he wanted to know what mods to do. You're going to have to change that chain. It's got it's got the chain like this. Now, your, your number twos and your, your one and three quarters is center swiveled already, and your number fours are center swiveled. For like a dollar or more, you can get a number four that's center swiveled, and it's not, it ain't coming out up here. That's where another problem with the number threes is the swivels on the side. Instead of pulling straight, you're pulling like this. And he already got them, use them. But you'll like that trap with a center swivel. <laughs> so if you can, um, Remington's dad actually four coiled a 550 with like, I don't know what he used, Duke number two springs or something. So I'm sure there's a four coil for a number three and then it'll be awesome. And you can center swivel them real easy. So. Yeah, that's, they carry a lot of number threes, Trey. So does Bass Pro. They work. They will work. My brother catches stuff with them, but that's how we knew they were slow. And now with the price of 550s and, and all that, I don't know. There ain't much difference between a number three and a 550 in price, I don't think. But obviously you ain't going to find 550s at Orschlands yet. Cool hand, Luke. What's up? Thanks for coming in. Did I finally hit the 9? 25.9? I've been waiting for that 26, but I just can't get there. Victor Alfazio. What's up? It's been a while, man. A lot of the old school YouTubers in here. See you, little Max. Appreciate you coming in. Remember, Mark, I was always, hey, Brady Smith, I'm always the one that I try to get more for my money than I guess I'm not shooting for, like, MBs or just high end, you know what I mean? Or the Bridger Douglas, I like to fully modify it. I can't afford, you know, a dozen of them, 200 something dollars. I could get two dozen 550s, you know? And <laughs> you've already sent in a quite a few bouncer. I appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Victor's got twins on the way. I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine. I'm glad I went live tonight. You guys spiced me up a little bit. No twins for you, Jay. Nah, they're in the family. I got twins. A lot of people have twins, so. Later, Section 8. Appreciate you being here. Twins. That would be my luck. Because we talked about... My wife can still have kids. We talked about... Uh, um, having another kid, but we'll probably end up with another girl. Mills Outdoor Vlog still here. Bouncer's lurking. Mo says, LOL, what does CP call your friend? I have no idea. I don't usually pay attention to what CP says. 
dumbing the world down one mask at a time. That, that there is epic. That's an epic channel name right there. I have not heard from Jeff. Slabby strikes again. Twins are awesome. Oh yeah, there, see there's my cousin Anthony right there. He's got twins. Yep. So they're there, they're in the family. It'd be my luck, I'd have triplets. <laughs> Bowser's is powerful. Yes, you can, Trapper Kine. The only thing is, is you're gonna you'll have to picture this guy as your one and three quarter. Oh, let's try not to get bit here. Your trap. The bigger your trap, the more odds you are of catching your critter. Whoa, danger. Let's just pretend this is the one and three quarter because I gave all mine to Pondum. Look at the size. Well, that doesn't really do much justice. That trap's way bigger than that one, but CB call her twins like he says, where are the twins? Hmm. Well, anyways, that, that uh, did not work as a good demonstration, even though that trap is way smaller than this one. I tried. You can't have more surface area. If you're using an inch and three quarter, it's like this big. If you use a number three, you get up here like this, you got more chances to. You're gonna be there, Liam? That's awesome. Thanks for the super chat, man. Uh, November 2nd, Mo. Liam's coming to Kentucky in the morning. I'm leaving at noon Friday and then we're gonna drive all the way to a motel somewhere close to there. I'm winging it. Because you never know what could happen. And I've slept in a vehicle many times. I guess Jeff and them guys are camping at the Kentucky Lake or whatever is right there. Gary Stoner, what's up? What are you up, what are you up to, man? Later, Evan. Freedom, not greed. It says power to the people. Yeah, I don't know how you keep track of all. <laughs> uh, hey, Amanda. Thanks for coming in. Power, not greed. <laughs> Balancer. No problem bringing my GoPro drone and about 150 different soft plastic baits. <laughs> nice. Hey, uh, I seen there's a pond on the property we're going to be at. So that might be fishing there. I didn't realize it was going to be like a uh, at someone's house, like on a farm. Nothing sleeps like a Silverado. It's easy with my old wrinkly Pentagon computer. <laughs> Probably is. I'm talking about the pond on the property, Lance. Let's see. I saw something. Speaking of Silverados, I'm looking at a GMC, Mark. I don't know what I want, really. I'm, I'm three minutes behind. Or are you three minutes behind? Later, a little saltine. I appreciate you coming in. Uh, I should be live Saturday. Possibly with Lance Rosencranes. I'll try to do some lives from the trapping convention. Yeah, I do that all the time, Amanda. Later. Hey, Mitch. Uh, that sounds awesome. What year is it? I, I need something 25K and under. And that kind of lowers my options. And I want it to stay under 100,000 miles. I did see the new Bronco. I can't afford a brand new vehicle. And plus, I'm... If anybody knows me, and anyone that sees me not wear gloves, and I'm always muddy, uh, I'm just not good with a new vehicle. 2003 sounds right up my alley, man. Wood Pigeon, what's up? 11 p.m. there? 
The new Bronco? I would definitely drive that. Yeah, see, Mitch, you're right there. You're right in my 90, right in my 100 mile, 100,000 mile thing. Bowser says, um, it was my twin. <laughs> you still got a channel out there that just says Bouncer Slab, don't you? I've had many old Broncos in my time where you can take the top off them. I've had the Chevy K5s. I had a lot of Bronco 2s. I don't know to nothing, he says. You have been Fords? Oh no. Well, my Ford, I think I told you guys in the last live, it got totaled and I bought it back for a thousand and I'm just driving it. All it needs is a headlight. Ah, that one got me on my eyeball, some bitch. Ooh. She also had an 87 Trans Am. Well, I remember them days. I was only seven, but I remember when them things were awesome. I've been looking at the new chargers. You think a trapper would look good in a new charger? Spring water? You creeping in here? What's up? <laughs> Get me a new charger. Or is it a Challenger? Oh, it's a Challenger. I think it'd look good. Your mom was a badass. <laughs> Eighty-seven Trans Am, T-tops leaked, but I would definitely buy one if I found one. Hey, Mitch, I'm from Northwest Missouri. Later, Trapper Kyan. Appreciate it. My my daughter totaled her car, and she ended up getting a Rubicon, and it's pretty jacked up. You might have seen it like in the background in one of the videos recently. It's white. It has like removable top. Big huge tires. It's got 35s on this sucker. Son of a bitch and mosquitoes. I am here pretty soon, Smoke Dream. Uh, Missouri's opens the 15th, but I'm going to be trapping Iowa on the 2nd of November. And I think Nebraska starts even earlier. My initial says it all. <laughs> That's awesome. You think that would be good for trapping, Raymond? <laughs> I know it would be, a, I could take it to the casinos, but I just don't think it'd be, I could put some traps in there and, and uh, I call it my trapping rig. I don't think anything's scared of Hellfire anymore. Jeff's woman tongue punched it and said it tasted like Jolly Rancher, so. She's crazy, clearly. Born star. <laughs> Lane Davis, what's up? Hellcat Durango. I'm driving. I think I'm driving a new, hmm. I don't know what kind of, I think I'm driving a Durango right now. Stepside Jammer. <laughs> I'd have to go look at it. See, I have some kind of Durango. It's a 2020 and it's fancy. I got it, I got it till it's 23rd. I've been trapping with it. I've been hauling coons in it, some bitch. Only thing, Stepside Jammer says she's an old channel. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't have that, Liam. I just know it's got three rows of seats if I ever needed three rows of seats. And if you're banging your wife on the back of it, the door will suddenly close out of nowhere. They're like, you about to get squished in the damn door. Like, what the fuck? Just kidding, just kidding about the, something I said earlier, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Leaky banana. Cody Moore, what's up, brother? 
It might smell like skunk lance, and after I get a bunch of lures from the convention, they really might like it. Oh, I definitely need a supercharger. Cody, did you get text? Hell yeah, Mitch. Whatever works, man. I didn't like buying lures, trapping lures or baits at all. That's why when Dunlap wanted to hook up and it was perfect. I can just get my baits and lures and not have to worry about it. I still like to buy a bunch of them when I go to conventions. I'll just walk around and meet people and buy a little bit of their stuff. Appreciate you coming in, Cody. Traveling with Jinx, what's up? We talked about you earlier, man. These deadly sons of bitches right here. I don't have no automatic chicken door, Mo. I just lower a door. Angston Percival, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, I told him that I would never put my hand in any of those ever. Hey, look at this cute little Duke number one, Jinx. YouTube Anonymous. What's up? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is, Lance. He's supposed to get me some, uh, I need some more Coon Glow. Christina's still in here. Hey, Christina. Trey, you need some Soul Taker? I got some right over here. Just right over the chair, right next to me. Cody reading. He missed. He says hello to anyone he missed. I'll be a live Saturday, James. Later, Victor. Good luck with the twins, man. You got it. Victor's got a chainsaw video. You guys, go check it out when he gets it done. Later, Victor. Hey, I'll take a logo if you got one. I'm going to leave my new one. My new truck's probably not even going to have my logo on it. It's going to be a low key. The other one? Shit, everyone knows where I'm at. My freaking Trapper J sticker is like this big in the back window. Liam Rosencrane has a new video up, guys. Click on his profile right now. I think you can still do it. Go to his channel. His Way Homestead, what's up? Thanks for coming in. How you doing tonight? <laughs> my hands. Hey, when we went to the NTA last year in my daughter's car, man, we about passed out on the way home. We had the, the all the stuff in the trunk. Oh, it was horrible. I'm taking a cooler to put it in this time. OH Outdoors. What's up, buddy? You been putting out any good videos, OH Outdoors? I can probably get you one, Victor. I probably should get a bunch made. I got one on Teespring, but I need to get some made where I can ship them out from here. His way home says, says I remember when you hit 1,000. Yeah, and uh, probably in Deer Parks. He got me to 1,000 like three times. Uh oh, what'd you say, Bouncer? I missed it. Why was this suggested to me? I'm a snowflake tree hugger. Because your bouncer slabs uh, minion. That's probably why. If you got slab in your name, you're definitely one of bouncer slabs minions. Let's see, I missed something. I thought. Or it's just bouncer slab, most said. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, 
Ooh, his way homestead's almost to a thousand, guys. If anyone can go over there, <laughs> if anyone can go over there and hit him up, let's see how high we can get him. Someone want to run his way homestead's link, please, before we bail out of here. Bounce says no. That's definitely. Hey, uh, one thing, Bouncer, you've had your picture for a long time of your eagle. I think that was an original. Sounds good, Victor. Later, Brady. I need to also, but I'm having a good time. From the beginning, yeah. I bounced around with three of them. I had a bobcat for a little bit. And I think I have one more, but I went back to the kayak. I think I still got the kayak one. Hell, I don't even know. Later, OH. <laughs> Foolish creations. God dang. Don't you ever have a different password for every freaking one of them? Bouncer? You got too much time on your hands, brother. I can't even keep up with one. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> Mark says, I don't even know how to do one. Yeah, I hear you. Hey, Landon. Thanks for coming in, man. I treat everyone the same until they start trolling me and then I, then Mo gets rid of them, so. We had a coyote get a chicken in broad daylight while I was mowing grass. Went, yep, I deal with the same stuff here. We'll be in the swimming pool and one will come running through and grab chickens. It's pretty common, really. That's why I was really happy to get that, that ugly mangy one out the other day. Yep, pretty much got to set traps. Dog bone knives, what's up? What happened to Amanda? Oh, having electrical problems. Smoke Dream says you're going to have to kick me out of here. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I got that and some seasoning, Cody Moore. I'm repping. I've been getting a lot of shit for it, but I've been repping Austin because I actually like Austin. He's a pretty cool man or dude or cat, whatever I want to say. Angry Broccoli, what's up? You even got a green profile, that's awesome. I haven't tried it yet, Cody. I'm gonna be doing a catfish catch and cook here soon that I'm gonna use it on. He's pretty cool to hang out with. And he always comes in my lives. He's always on Instagram going live and he has me come in there, he's pretty cool. Why the long face, Angry Broccoli? Don't make me break out my pasta dome. Look at that. That's an ass. I call this, that's a butt crack cleaner right there, y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm constipated. Just send it.
Later, Mark. Damn butt flosser. <laughs> hey, Reaper, still chilling. What's up, Reaper? I didn't know you were still in here. Butt floss. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, good times. It's not bad, really, Christina. It does give you a wedgie, though. I don't know what happened if you would pop a boner in it or anything like that, but so far it's fairly comfortable. I wore, you know, you guys seen the pictures. That's when I wore it the last time. Hey, it's turning out pretty good. I, I will get it all set up cool when I get closer to trapping season. Right now it's just kind of a workbench. Pike stabber, open what box? I done opened the box, man, a long time ago. Y'all have to scroll back a long time, about 109 minutes. Hey, I'll send it to you, Reaper. I got a back version if you want to see that, Reaper. I think I've been over and picked up a penny. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> He said, nope, I'm going to wear it trapping. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> Where you at, trapping with Jinx? Trapping with Jinx is going to get your, your link if he turned blue. And he turned blue and bailed, I think. You think so, Amanda? I just feel like there's a lot of mosquitoes biting me. Definitely need to do something. There it is. Click on that link real quick, everybody, before you leave. You didn't know you were a tool? My wife calls me a tool once in a while. Before you leave, everybody, go click on that link right there. Let's see how many we can get them up, help them out. They're trying to get for their first thousand, and then they can start rolling along. Reaper, <laughs> I seen yours beat the shit out of you before Reaper in the live stream. <laughs> Tools can be valuable. Nice. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't got a text coming to bed yet. That's the new Corona Skeeter. I got a Skeeter on my Peter. Slabzilla? Oh no. I'm a giant. Whack it off. <laughs> Lane Davis got you. His way homestead. Traveling with Jinx will have you. Cody Moore got you. Hey, thanks guys. I appreciate it for helping them out. 932 Traveling Jinx says. Most of us have had them forever. Trey got him. Oh no. His way home says he's got poison oak. Yeah, see when you, you can't be like out working in the woods and then take a leak. Because when you grab your junk... Shit happens, for real. Like when I'm hunting, you pull, pull it down and just let her shoot whatever direction she wants to go. Don't touch it. Amanda says 9.33. Oh no, Mo has been a false supporter. Oh, Mo. <laughs> I bet I got him. You know what I mean, Reaper? Even when it's winter time, there's still poison oak out there. Nothing like scratching your balls all day. Hey, later, Cody. Thanks for coming in, man. Pouncer says, what the fuck? 
Bouncer, you ain't never had some poison oak on your on your giblets. I used to be. I used to not get poison oak. Now I occasionally get it. I can't believe Judith didn't come in tonight. Hi, Judith, if you watch this later. Reaper says pussy. <laughs> okay, everybody, if you want to go over to Reaper's channel and not see anything trapped, that's your place. Or see him stab himself with a knife. That's your place. <laughs> Just kidding, Reaper. Hey, uh, actually, Reaper, um, when I was noodling in Oklahoma, Illegal's like, man, you're hard on that one channel. I can't remember the name of it, but you're like really hard on him. I said, yeah, but he's probably one of my brothers and and we give each other shit. So then like a, two weeks later, he texts me and says, hey, that that's that Reaper guy that you give shit to. Oh, I was like, yeah, I give, we give each other shit all the time. You're the last one, Reaper. Angle gone. B&O's gone. All of them are gone. Last one. Uh, it was like 5 o'clock in the morning one time I got Reaper to put his hand in a trap and he screamed like a little girl and cried. <laughs> That never gets old. And then he deleted it. One of the best videos he'll ever have made, and he deleted it. But Wiggler. Northern Trapper, what's up? Reaper gets an A+. Plus. But Wiggler, that's... That one... I don't know, Bouncer. That one seems like you aren't like running out of things to create, so you came up with that one. <laughs> What's up, Northern Trapper? Who here follows uh, Rattletrap Fishing on Facebook? Hey, Nathan White. What's up, man? You son of a bitches. Die, motherfucker. Doing good, Nathan. What are you up to? I swear this came from Evie. <laughs> Dr. Ghost. Butt wiggler, though? Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. Out of all the names I saw you post in here. Where are you at? Like 75 fucking channels came in here? There's Judah. How you doing, Judah? Bouncer, you had like at least 40 channels come in here. And butt wiggler? Out of all of those. Trying to train your puppy? What kind? Is it uh, for quail and pheasants or duck dog? I will, I will next time when I get a battery in her. Northern Trapper. She dead. The last winter was tough on him. I lost my boat batteries, my four-wheeler battery, and this battery. Yep, I did a crawfish boil. It was pretty awesome his way. And my wife's slowly starting to uh, get used to the camera, but she still don't like it. But Wiggler is a dancer like my mom. Nice. A screen door on the garage would be pretty cool. You got the thong on? No, I don't. I don't, Judah. It's right here, though. Look at that sucker.
Rough pump. It was uh, pretty cool because I didn't plan on people being there besides my nephew. And my sister brought her kids down, so, and we didn't think they would actually eat some uh, crawdads and stuff, so it turned out pretty good. It's very entertaining, Trey Muse. Float Dizzle, what's up? <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Bouncer Slab was really entertaining me tonight. You went maximum effort, Bouncer. I'll give you that. Pretty much, uh, I've been with Rattletrap fishing for a long time. I've raided them a few times. But they both share the same account that says, uh, that says Rattletrap. And they argue back and forth on there. It looks like they're just arguing with each other, with themselves. Something else. Bubbles rocks. What's up? <laughs> hey, Wester Outdoors. Thanks for coming back in. What have you been up to? A little bit, Ma. <laughs> Balancer. I don't know how you do it, man. Man, you I guess you could go fuck with the channel pretty bad. What one person, Trey? Yeah, I see that effortlessly, yeah. Well, I'll let you know, he's not in here, but he scared the living shit out of B&O back in the day. Jason W., what's up? What time is it now? 10.30? Probably better be winding down. Hey, Judith. I am think I'm going to make a video with this sucker. Maybe that, maybe I'll finally shoot up the car with that. With the old butt flosser on there. That's a man, I think Amanda called it a butt flosser. Oh, shit. I don't even want to look at my other one now. <laughs> Raymond. COVID mask. I don't need a COVID mask. I don't wear masks. Why the long face, sucker? <laughs> that thong is scary. Did I send you that picture, Reaper, or did you find it on YouTube? <laughs> no, it ain't smell. I only wore it for like three seconds, Mo. What do you think it smell like? Salt and bad bad ideas or what? Mm. Musky. When I'm loaded. What? When I'm loaded, that's a invitation. Slightly buzzed. What's up? I I know I see you, Judah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I don't know. You guys think it smells bad? I did smell. I talked through it. What does it supposed to smell like? I don't know what your mans are like, but if they can only put this on to take a picture and it stinks, y'all got problems. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like fur. Bouncer, what am I thinking about? Later, trapping, trapping with Jinx is like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I got church on Sunday. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, wait a minute. There was several women that wore this, so I guess it could smell fishy. Nah, it doesn't. It just smells like my trapping shit. Damn it. <laughs> this is why my <laughs> this is why I don't get monetized anymore. I forgot. Oh man. <laughs> oh, you guys are bad. Doesn't it smell? Well, we don't wear our underwear until they get like uh, super crusty and you can like slap them against that back wall and they stick there. I know that some people think that, but I change my underwear every day. Be like, they're dripping. Angel stream, I don't even know what that is. Meaty guy one. Meaty guy one has like the smallest pecker ever to have that name. For sure. Smallest. I mean, it's like, is he a shower? Is he, is he a shower or is he a grower? We will never know. Doing good, Judah. Reaper says he's crying. Nick Knox, what's up? His way home said. <laughs> oh, man. I guess he's not a shower or a, grow or a grower. He's a rubber. I haven't tuned in a while. I like the new Trapper set. Appreciate it, man. It's going to be awesome when I get her. I got to get a bunch of stuff still. Man, I got a bunch of stuff I need to get out of here. There's a table saw right here. There's some wood. I made a bunch of cabinets for the house and shit. So Right now, it's a multi-purpose garage. Me, you guys, says I have a full freezer. Not with that name, you don't, man. Yeah, see? Banana, banana hammock. No. Nope. You just, you're just wasting clothing, man. You ain't covering nothing up. <laughs> it's like that one channel that comes in here and says, I'm not a troll. Clearly you are. <laughs> Trapping, I thought he was leaving, dude. He threw out something. Someone click on that and see what it is. He like, I'm gonna trap him with Jinx says, all right, I'm out, guys, I gotta go to bed. And then he like pokes back in here with a link. Who could it be? It's a link to somewhere. Oh, he threw out his way Homestead's link before he rolled out. It doesn't say that on here, when, on my end anyways. It just says WWW YouTube. I just thought you were sneaking in your channel there, Trap with Jinx. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> here he comes. He's back. It's okay, Wester. You can come out the closet whenever you want, little man. Little Wester Outdoors just came out and says, I like MB-550s. If you can get them, if you can get them to support you back, man, I really hope you do. <laughs> is it really you, Wester Outdoors, or has Bouncer got your name on there too? Hey, it just came out today, Nick Knox. <laughs> Far out up towards this thing through. Oh, man. I don't even know who's real anymore. Am I real? Is it really me? You guys, go check out Wester. He did a review. He's got clothes now, and he did a review on one of my shirts. <laughs> Reaper, what are you still doing up, old man? Twelve noon there. Huh? 
I'd say you got plenty of accounts, Bouncer. Man, that maybe that's how I can get my views up. I could actually make a thousand views if I had a thousand channels. That's how I can do it. And then I'll feel like, oh, look at me. I, I finally got a thousand views. Reaper took a nap. I went from getting like 30 views and 30,000 views a day to I can barely get a thousand. I remember my channel went, took a dump. But the lives are awesome. Hello, come in on YouTube tip time. You got tips, YouTube tips, pursuing the Harland? Yeah, but that, what's 1% or yeah, what's 1% of, uh, I should know it, of 25.9 thousand. I just need 1%. Hell yeah, his way home said. That's awesome. I'm getting like 60,000 views a month, so I can't complain too much, you know. Yeah, I know, Reaper. I was just trying to get a, I was just trying to get a, like a multi channel, but I kind of ruined it when I made Trapper J. Frank Kelly, what's up? Oh, then I'm getting more than 1% then. Frank Kelly just comes in out of nowhere. Maybe life's mysteries. Yeah, it's different when you see catches, ain't it, Reaper? Reaper comes to my channel to see catches. How many times do you make that walk from the parking lot, Reaper? I'm just here for the beer. D Mercy Room Nurse. Ooh. Appreciate it, Frank. You agree with Amanda? Where's Amanda at? I know, Amanda, but I need other people to do the same. Five minute lag on the chat. Scroll forward. I'm trying his way. I'm trying to make it like, there's all kinds of different shit coming out. I'm, a, I'm two weeks ahead right now. Half man. Getting closer. Little tiny little guy right there. Looks like a looks like an Audi. You're like, is that his belly button or is that his dick? That's his dick. It's not a belly button. I know, but that's only for like three months though, Mo. Going to have to put all your videos on loop. Lance, shouldn't you be in bed? Aren't you leaving in the morning? I'm pretty sure I've watched all your vids. I appreciate it, Amanda. <laughs> a large canoe is a small banana. Hundred <laughs> percent, Amanda. I just need like forty more thousand of you. Oh hell, where are all the women at? Appreciate it, Mills Outdoor Vlogs. <laughs> Almost got fired. Yeah, I'm just Debbie Downer. You know how it is. It's hard to put three videos out a week, let alone one every day. You're deep in the woods in Montana. 
You definitely ain't gonna find the woods there. D Mercy room nurse, you really need to know all my snare and secrets. You make a circle, you hang it on a trail, and you get them. You're more computer savvy than you lead on, Reaper. Some of them freaking Instagram shit you do on there. <laughs> what, you're mad, man? <laughs> Frank, you don't want them there? Well, guys, I'm about out of beer. And I got the urge to put on the old possum tongue, so I probably better get off of here, you know? Nobody wants to see that banana hammock. Why the long face? <laughs> I'm glad that she put a little bit of extra materials on there. Really? In Louisiana? I appreciate you coming in his way, Homestead. Later, Christina. Thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming in and supporting. I'm still doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. So there will be one out Friday at 4. Mo, you better go to the kitchen and make some cookies. Your husband wants some cookies. And I'm really glad I went live. It was awesome. I wasn't planning on drinking anything tonight, but I should sleep better. Appreciate everyone who's in here. Bouncer Slab, thanks for all the laughs, man. Appreciate it. Later, Bouncer. Later, guys. Frank Kelly, no problem, man. I'm just glad you came in. See you, Lance. See you Saturday morning, man.